Hello everyone, welcome to Bossman v. Wozniak. I'm Kyle Bossman. Today is St. Patrick's Day. A very special day to be playing Tetris because we might find ourselves having a little look of the Irish on the Tetris boards today. Hopefully, because the goal is to take down Wozniak's record, the one he had printed in Nintendo Power with his name backwards. Look, we own Tetris. First things first, we own this game. We own this Game Boy cartridge. We love this Game Boy cartridge. We are emulating the game tonight. I do want to show you this one new thing. Oh, uh, Jin456, six, six months in a row. Thank you so much. Uh, I want to show you a cool thing. Um, well, we'll see if this is cool. Honestly, I'm starting to doubt this decision already. Switching up the controller this week. Snorkel the Dolphin, five months. Okay, so uh, I'm using my Wii U Pro controller. Oh, look at this. You can see the reflection of Bossman v. Wozniak on my own screen. Um, I'm using this, this this week. I don't know if it'll be an improvement. Game John, three months, thank you so much. Uh, I just I like the idea of a D-pad made by Nintendo. You know? I feel like I have better odds with it. We'll find out. I don't know. I don't know. I've done some preliminary, te preliminary tests, and honestly... Uh, I've been playing worse, <laughs> so we shall see. Let's get to it. Let's start OBS. Sorry, we're in OBS. Let's start BGB. That is our emulator for our game, and let's start Tetris. Uh, we have to summon Usain Bolt to help us train. Usain, please! He's here. Okay, great. I need to tuck that aside. I can... I gotta keep that one open. Let me, um... Do this. Okay, too loud, too loud, too loud. Much better. Ginger Poe, six months in a row. Thanks for the resubs, everybody. Okay, uh, so what I do here for training is I hold down on the D-pad as I press start, and that takes us into the hyperbolic time chamber slash Vegeta's gravity chamber. Uh, bets are on the screen. I know, I, didn't, I never made that graphic to let you know, uh, but I will say vocally, bets are still open, everybody. Go ahead and do exclamation point bet to get... Oh, let's see how that was done. Sweeney helped us out. Uh, to get a bet in. Um, bets will close once we're done with training. Once you see Usain Bolt leave, bets are done. I can't think straight. I can't think straight. It's too fast. We got kind of hosed to be here in the first place. Okay, okay, level 15. Um, uh, you know what? We don't have to worry about 15. 15's a joke anyway. Once Bolt bolts. Did I say Bolt? What did I say once you say Bolts? It's so stupid. Kyle, thoughts on the word side quest being used as a verb? We're gonna side quest the player off into the fields. Uh, it's not fun. It just means video games have become too plain, right? If side quest is a verb. Interesting question, though. What do we think about side quest becoming a verb? I don't much like side quests. I don't, I don't care for them. Ooh, oh, god. Huh. Alright. I gotta do that again. Um, as you can see, uh, I thought a piece had locked in before I had locked in. I wonder what that's about. When I, w when I was testing out the controller earlier, I noted that I have to be a little more deliberate about my presses. You gotta mash a little harder. We might just straight up switch back to the eye buffalo if training goes miserably. We're getting there. I, I just gotta adapt. I gotta adapt. Uh, the thing that I had to buy to make it so I could use my Wii U Pro Controller, I think it was like $18. See, that was like muddy. That was some muddy shifting. I don't know. I don't know, everybody. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, we're just playing around. We're warming up. We don't have to worry about that too much. Can I get one in? Nice! There we go. That was cool. That was cool, that was cool. We're alright. We're okay. 
Declination, just subscribe. Thank you so much, Declination. Cool name. I like it. Uh, that move you just saw at level 16, squeezing a, like a, a J in there? That's crazy. That was a crazy thing. You will not see that happen in real life. I'll be too stressed. The Kodar. Six months in a row. Thank you, the Kodar. I don't think we could have done that J-Squeeze on an old controller. That buffalo couldn't handle a little J-Squeeze like that. We've tried it many times. Chat, I see you asking if I've had dinner. And normally I wouldn't, you know, talk about the food I've been eating, but I realize that, that it's a factor in the bets that you make. Uh, so I will tell you that I have had dinner. You have the right to know as you gather information for your bets. the controller. We might like it. I really feel like I should be able to get a line piece over there faster on level 16, though. Still looks sluggish, right? Yes, you can also submit songs now as well. Uh, do exclamation point song and send me a link. Uh, your song has two rules attached to it. Uh, number one, it must be 15 minutes or longer. It cannot be a playlist. It must be a single track that is 15 minutes or longer. Uh, rule number two, it's got to be from a video game. It can't be a remix of something that's been in a video game. It simply must be a track that we can play a video game and hear that track within that video game. It is exactly as we are playing it on Boss and B. Wozniak. Uh, no Disney anime. That's true. Disney is very protective of its anime, so don't pick any Disney anime. That's why they muted us for DuckTales, is they were secretly working on this DuckTales thing the whole time. Let's see if we get... No, that's good, that's good. It's getting a little dirty. So yeah, I don't know. I'm getting used to it. We're adapting, we're learning. See, if I waited, we could have had a Tetris. If I was a little more patient. But I mean, at level 18, you can't really be patient. You can't really look at next. You can have a plan for your next piece, but I don't think you can stop your plan with the piece in your hands because of a piece that you see coming up next, is what I mean. You obviously can look at next. It is essential to your survival. But you can't change your plans is what I mean to say. So it's not good play, but we're getting higher than we normally do in, in training, level-wise. Uh, Sam and Rail. Sorry, I missed the number of months. Thank you for the reset. Okay, this bird's baked. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. Getting to pretend level 19 with it starting at level 16. That's pretty cool. Um, let me grab my coffee.
So this is pretty cool. Um, this is a heat mug where the hotter the mug gets, um, the more pieces arrive. Now this was a gift sent in during a group stream. This side toward you looks good. Um, the opposite side, not a great print. <laughs> but that's my side, right? When I'm taking a sip, I see, I see the misprint. You see the good stuff. Hmm, I wonder what the best performing beverage is. I think it might be coffee. Uh, Red Bull, we've seen me get to a state where I'm like a little over-caffeinated. Uh, Red Bull can get a little nasty. Red Bull's great for when I have to just like shoot a podcast or something. But in terms of like uh, performance and Tetris, a little, a little risky. Uh, Steven Purifoy, four months in a row. Thank you so much, Steven. Renowned artist. Oh, oh, okay. See, that was me trying to change my plans. You just can't. You can't change plans at the speed. It's too risky. song you suggested. I think, no, I think you would have to just replace it with a new song. If you make a new suggestion, it will erase your old suggestion. That's a funny question. It's a funny question because I assume either it was played already, or something I did led you to believe that I'm going to hate it, and so I feel bad about that. Victor Vieira. I think it's a good idea, actually, to make a safe state right at level 20 and practice there. However, it seems like cheesing. Since we are in the final 12 weeks, it might be a good... Oh, oh see, that was a... Mm, mm. That makes me mad. Uh, that was uh, Tyrant X Toast. Or cross toast. That was me holding down on the D-pad, and the piece went right. Um, I have this happen with the Wii U Pro Controller. I have it. I have it happen with the Switch Pro Controller as well. While I'm playing Shovel Knight, um, where you're holding down and still you'll go left or right. That bothers me to no end, because you're like leaning a little bit left or right as you press down. A little unacceptable. Final 12 weeks, yes, chat. In case you missed the announcement at the end of last week's stream, Boston Eve Wozniak ends at week 52. This is week 41. So we only, we only have 12 more weeks. Uh, those aren't 12 real life weeks, those are 12 episodes, basically, because I'll be taking at least two off uh, in there somewhere. Um, yeah, no matter what happens, if we don't get that high score by 52, it's over. If we get it before 52, it's over. But I mean, <laughs> that's the cutoff. We, we have a goal. We have to beat Wozniak by week 52. It's nasty. High stakes. Uh, chat, yes, I have seen the Sun Game News uh, best ofs. And I've been meaning to promote those on stream. Um, they're very good, and I truly appreciate the hard work that's been going into them. Um, uh, I love them. We've needed we've needed to be doing those for so long. It's so good to have a best of because it's impossible to watch everything Easy Allies does in a single week. So those are very cool. Uh, if you haven't seen them, I think you could go to YouTube and type in some game news best of easy allies and you'll find it and i think there are four or five already and they're all from the year 2017 
Level 18. See, I think we're doing well at level 18. I'm just so scared of that thing that happened last time. That was me getting in my head. What am I doing? I lost it. I lost my mind right there. Um, that's what the coffee's for. Um, I'm so scared of that thing where it's like, oh, you're pro holding down, but you leaned left or right. And that just ends a run. Just ends it. It's scary. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Bad. Bad. I'm playing Tetra style at higher levels, which is a little scary. By what? It, by which I mean, um, of course we're all, we're always playing Tetra style. Um, I just want to get non-stop Tetrises, which you can't really count on at levels like this. You got to keep it clean more than ever. <sighs> yeah, we're sticking with it. We're sticking with the pro. I got to learn to adapt, but we're pulling off stuff I couldn't normally pull off. And that stinky eye buffalo. All right, let me do level 19 one more time, and then uh, we're good to go. We're good to start playing real Tetris, and bets will close. So if you have not bet yet, get it in. Get your bet in. Because it's about time to go. Okay, one more. Okay, one more. I don't like three S's in a row. Uh, another thing I want to do tonight, another one of my goals, and this was suggested by, I think it was Eric GG, our lead statistician. <sighs> Still too tight, right? Still too tight. Um, to bail sooner. Like, enough playing around. We only have 12 weeks, 12 weeks left. Like, if you're having a bad run, just bail on it. If it's clear, you will not beat Wozniak on this run. Leave it. Forget about it. And so that's one thing I'm going to try to do tonight, more frequently. Obviously, you want a T to show up. Doesn't happen. Ruins your entire plans because no T showed up. And there it is. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just gotta stop like counting on a T. Everything would have been so nice if a T showed up, but I made a mistake. Okay, cool. Good warm up. Good warm up. <sighs> okay, I feel good. I feel stretched out. Thank you, Mr. Bolt. Appreciate it. And then we're doing it. Restart the ROM. Kyle, if you could commission a drawing of anything, what would it be? I guess like one of those elaborate, like one of those big elaborate maps that's just filled in. Uh, the piece would take at least five years. Uh, and so I guess it's like, it's like a cool map of ancient Rome, but like little tiny people are drawn in. Like every single person who would be on the streets is on the streets and so it looks exactly what, like what ancient Rome would look like in its heyday and so every horse the hairs are drawn on the horse and so that's what it would be 
You asked. I could have anything I wanted. I want a 10-year drawing. I want a drawing that takes 10 years to make. I'll pay the price. What do you think it would cost? Because I know that commissions are actually pretty expensive. I wonder how much it would cost to make that little map. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we need a song. Let's pick our first song. Here we go. I got distracted. Pick a song. No, what is this? Go away. What is this? No, no, no. Stop that. Okay. Okay, let me vet it. Oh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Seashore War. This comes from Nalt Mank. Nalt Mank. I gotta turn this up. It isn't clear by now, this is from David Wise and his work on Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. One of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time. It just touches your heart. Why make some Donkey Kong music so emotional? Why do this? Because I can. Because that gorilla deserves it. We are so lucky that this soundtrack exists. There's so many reasons for it not to, you know? <laughs> uh, life can be good sometimes. I was a little nervous about uh, setting up a little L situation. And obviously, we're not out of it yet, but she showed up. That's the important thing. Joey set up that I'm not at all concerned about. Okay. Alright, Joey didn't show up. And now we have an L set up? No, now we have a line set up. Gross. Need that line. Or else we're gonna look real stupid soon. Tetris just hates me. Just hates me. Okay. Joey needs to show up, and then we can... Okay. Line's cool. Line's cool. We just need another line, though. I'm gonna do that, because we're a little too high. Let's run 
sucks. Alright, so learning to bail, we're just gonna bail on that run. It's just, look at it, it just wasn't happening. Good grief. It was like, it was a good run so far, it was looking good, but then like, ugh. Yeah, one of those bail moments. I, I was almost ahead of you there, Duff Mania. Or Duff Mana, actually. Duff Mana? Let's say Duff Mana. Kagi downloaded the Puyo Puyo Tetris demo from the Japanese Switch eShop yet. No. Honestly, it sounds like too much work. Ben explained how simple it is to me, and I'm still on this, like, I don't know, man. I'd rather just play the game when it comes out. Um, another thing that I should get better about doing chat... That's a bail. Look at this, we don't put up with this. We don't put up with this. You start me off with three S... Four S's and Z's out of five, I'm out. I'm out. Um, I should get better at switching songs on bales too. Because right as it stands now, right, even if I do switch songs constantly, uh, will we ever even play every single song? I don't think so, so I think it might as well just switch songs more frequently. Get more in the rotation. <laughs> Alright, thanks, Joey. Shine away from those notes. We'll go goofy. That wouldn't have been that bad. Didn't happen. It's all right. Better early than late, right? Blasphemy wise, Kyle must 100% every game wise is touched. That'd be it'd be Bossman plus wise, the same way uh, it's written in Romeo plus Juliet the movie. It's a good idea for a streaming series. Or we just like, we get them all on vinyl, and I just like sit on the floor with headphones on and we just chill out to David Wise music. Oh. So that was one of those little controller slip of the fingers. That's definitely not welcome. Gotta adapt, don't complain. Right. So right now I'm praying for a line to come. Nice, it did. Great. And then we can work with it. Cool.
finally got there. Finally understood what had to be done. Finally understood what had to be done. to any zoo in the entire world. You love animals and I love that. So we're going. Any zoo you pick, baby. Of course she picks a zoo in New Zealand. job to get. Basically what happens is eventually some animals become too sick where the right thing to do is to kill them. Some zoos, this happens a lot, simply can't afford to keep their animal alive. And sometimes it's not a rare animal, you know, like a moose. So they call me in. I'll get on a plane. And they just tell me to get to it. Let me tell you something, moose. A moose does not go down easy. You don't just put a couple of pills in a moose and watch it fall asleep. No, it knows what you're trying to do. You can smell it. To kill. Gotta wrestle with it. Reason with it. You gotta let that moose know when when it's time to go. Cause they I'm not stupid, I know they can't hear what I'm saying, but they know what I'm saying. And honestly, it's 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 helped me in a way cope with the death of my wife. She was, it wasn't, it wasn't euthanasia for her, right? It was a violent moose attack. It's all the same. It's all Mother Nature's choice. And so I can see, I can see, I can see your face change right there. Like you think maybe I take some sick pleasure in killing a moose. Because a moose killed my wife. No. I would, look, look at me. Never, I would never, I would never, I would never take any pleasure in killing a moose. Because, I mean, they're, they're, they're soft and they're understanding. And honestly, they're kind of funny. Sometimes I'm cracking up at the things that the, the moose will try to confide in me. if you show them respect. Honestly, if Doreen had shown them respect, she'd be alive today. It's kind of on her. In 
In fact, I don't know if I would, I would really change anything about what happened that day. Because here I am, I'm closer to my daughter. I have a cool job. I wouldn't have had those things if the moose attack didn't happen. Things and everything. A silver lining. There's a silver lining in everything. That's what I mean to say. Uh oh. We used up 15 minutes of that track. Now we're at the whim of YouTube, and it's auto-load. What are you loading up for us, YouTube? Okay, it loaded up another Wise track, so I think we're okay. This is Aqueduct, Aqueduct Assault. Pausing's a little too risky at level 16. I always F it up somehow. Oh, Kyle. Oh, oops. I just F'd it up without pausing. Oh, bummer. Sorry, that was me not thinking right. That was me not thinking right. Should have paused. I should have paused and switched tracks. I should have paused. So th the sad thing was, he had raised enough money months ago to go on the New Zealand trip, but they know him now. <laughs> so he couldn't feel like he could go to that zoo. Uh, because they know who he is and what he does. And he can't break it to his daughter about the job that he has. Hey Kyle, do you think looking at chat gets in the way of you achieving high scores? No, I think looking at chat is the only thing that motivates me to get high scores. Gadget Mike just subscribed. Thank you so much, Gadget Mike 21. Boom. 366 on our opening run is pretty good. That, that ain't bad. That's pretty good for an opening run. Excuse me. Oh my god. Too much coffee. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's pick a new track. Okay, let me vet this. Rated oh, T for we got a little commercial. Sure. Silence commercial. What is this for? Weird. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you can't see the commercial I'm seeing. It's a commercial for Horizon Zero Dawn. Starts off with a guy who's in a high-tech uh, weapons lab that's got guns and stuff. And he's like, so let me show you a gun. And then he pulls out the bow from Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, Jillian, thank you so much for seven months. Yep, this checks out. This checks out. This is a track from Hotline Miami, Hydrogen. This comes to us from Kill Striker, who submitted this track 20 days ago. Live action, too. Yeah, I guess I, I should explain it was live action. It's like our old Tapioca's track. Mm -hmm. 
It's really unfortunate. Basically, we're waiting on uh, Zs and Ts to fill up that gap. It happened, though. We filled the gap. Joey, where are you, dude? Really playing on the edge this this whole run so far. There we go. I'm finally gonna clog the well. We're gonna do some work. Oh ho 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 ho! Little uh, too late, Kyle. That's some dumb stuff. I just didn't like living on the edge for too long. Living on the edge. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. Definitely put the kids to bed. Don't let them see that one. Cover their eyes. It's too late. You know how I feel about two boxes in a row. Never like it. It's almost a reset, but we're, we're doing pretty killer leading up to it. I think we can still get out of uh, level 10 with something well ahead of 200 points. If Joey shows up. Dang it, Joey. There you are. Hey, buddy. This run this is crazy. I'm not liking this. Yep, Tetris, you win. Dang, I feel like we didn't get to, like, the good part of this track, you know? Oh, I guess it's that the whole time. Okay. Oh, it sucked. All right, whatever. We're we're bailing on runs sooner than ever. What is dumb? Oh, this is when I get mad at Tetris. That was just stupid. That was stupid, stupid stuff. All right. That sucks. That was a cool track. I liked the track. Okay. This comes to us from the Burkhart. This is from Castlevania Symphony of the Night. The track's called Dracula's Castle. Um. And obviously, I do recognize. Not nah, obviously. Um, that run went bad. That that moment, I said whoops <laughs> and put a piece where I shouldn't have. So yeah, yeah, I can't put the pieces completely. Wrong. It was just dumping hard on me, though, for sure. Tetris was disrespecting. Feel the disrespect. Can I get some wind on the track? Sure thing. Nice job. 
Joey. There we go. When Joey shows up, everything's good. When Joey shows up, we have unlimited opportunities. Nothing can stop us. Look at that. Look at that, Joey. He's so good. So if you got any extra boxes, keep them for us, alright? No problem, maybe. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Chat, I've been watching a lot of Power Rangers. And it's so weird because I've never considered myself a Power Rangers fan, but with this marathon that's happening on Twitch right now, I realize how much of a Power Rangers fan I am. There's just some vibe of Power Rangers that I love. I love this idea of... Nice, Joey. Joey, too clutch. Love you. Um, you're given this footage and you have to make the best of it. Look how many Joey's there are in our wall right now. The wall's like half Joey. Half Joey, half Z. Um, oops. Oh, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's a little slip of the finger. It makes me nervous. Alright. Um, I just love this idea of you have this Japanese footage and you have to, that's what you have. And you have to make your own episode out of that stuff. And so, let's say you have ideas for where this character can go. Uh, so you just gotta roll with it. You gotta throw him out the window when the footage you have has the Blue Ranger, like, suddenly very afraid of fish for some reason. And so, when you're writing the script in the US for, like, oh, okay, for some reason, Billy is irrationally afraid of fish. How do we, how do, we do this? And then they write this stupid scene where everybody goes deep sea diving and Billy won't because, you know, he's afraid of fish. Not just the sea, but fish in particular. Because one time he was by a pond, just hanging out by a pond, and he dipped his finger into the pond and the fish believed his finger to be a worm and bit him. And you have to shoot that scene with a real child actor. It just... I love so much about it. You know me, I love watching dumb stuff. Dumb stuff inspires me more than anything sometimes. But that is a show that I would, I would love to write for. I'm sure it's more streamlined now. I'm sure there's more communication now. I would love to write for Power Rangers. Uh, Victor Vieira, that's an actual, that's not a bit, that's, that's the truth. That's something that happened on an episode that I saw. That was their solution. 